What you're looking at here are a couple of blind cave tetras in a two-gallon bowl. I've been keeping them in this two-gallon bowl for the last five months, and they're quite healthy. Uh, I have been keeping fish in bowls for the better part of a couple of decades now, and the fish live for years, not weeks. They breed. I raise the young and have even bred those, sometimes through several generations. Um, I like uh, fish in bowls because they are the most ecological pet short of keeping a pet rock. Uh, I'm only using a little bit of electricity occasionally uh, on this hobby, and therefore it is very ecological. So why is it that we are discouraging this most ecological of pets? Uh, sometimes the critics don't uh, like keeping fish in bowls because they object to keeping goldfish in bowls. Well, good. they got a, sort of a point there. The goldfish in the wild is normally more than a foot long, and so you can say that's not really appropriate for a two-gallon bowl. And maybe a few people object to betas, and I'm uh, not particularly fond of betas because they're a warm-water fish. Uh, and you start trying to save a little energy by turning down the heat in the winter, and you can easily kill the fish. Another thing that confuses people about fish in bowls is they can't figure out how the fish could possibly live without filters. You see, fish put out waste, specifically ammonia. And that ammonia needs to be processed by bacteria into nitrites. And the nitrites have to be processed by another set of bacteria, a different set of bacteria, into nitrates. Nitrates are relatively uh, harmless to freshwater fish, and that's just what we're talking about here, are freshwater fish. So um, the thing about a bull is that um, the bacteria we're talking about need two things, uh, oxygenated water and some place to stick. Uh, the bull provides them a lot of room to stick because there is relatively little volume of water, and compared to the volume of the water, the surface area of the glass is relatively large, uh, and also the surface area of the gravel at the bottom is relatively large. You're only keeping a few fish in the bowl, therefore feeding them only a little bit of food. You have relatively little ammonia to process, and you've got a lot of glass surface and a lot of gravel to process it. And secondly, it tends to be pretty well oxygenated simply because the bowl is very shallow, and the oxygen can easily penetrate down far enough uh, to keep the bacteria healthy, alive, and doing its job, uh, where that's not nearly as true in a big uh, tank, which is much deeper. And that's why uh, the aquariumists started using uh, all those pumps to pump all that water around so that, that they could get the oxygenated water down to the bottom of big tanks. Uh, in addition uh, to that, one of the advantages of the uh, bowl is that you're usually only keeping a single species in a tank, maybe you're keeping two occasionally, in rare cases three, and therefore there are relatively few interspecies conflicts. If you keep 10 fish into a, a, a 10 different species in a tank, there are 45 different potential conflicts, and guess what? One of them is probably going to uh, turn out to be not just a potential, but a real conflict. Furthermore, you really reduce the whole problem of diseases in a bowl because you know, if you bring home some sick fish, you put them in the bowl, yeah, okay, they die, but they don't infect the rest of the tank. So a well-planned bowl with the right information can be very effective uh, and, uh, as I say, very ecological. You can get a lot more information on this uh, by checking on my website uh, and uh, that you will find in the links. Oh, and by the way, for the people who insist on worrying about this and worrying that uh, I have my fish in a toxic soup, I have checked the ammonia, the nitrites, and the nitrates in the last uh, couple of days, and over and over again, they come out zero, 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 none. And this, once again, is not because I change the water very often. If my fish are lucky, they get a water change once a month. So anyway, that's it for now. Bye.